Hello Sagittarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. I had to think for a second. Your person on your mind reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. If you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. We're going to start with some overall messages and themes, and then we're going to get into your tarot. All right, Sag. We have change. Okay. Trust. And fights. Change, trust, and fights. Yeah, it feels like things have not necessarily been easy between you and a person. You guys could be hoping for some kind of change in a situation. We're going to look at their feelings, intentions, and actions. The challenge between the two of you and the potential outcome. So overall, I do like this. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I do. Is it going to be easy? No. You got the strength card as a general overall energy. It, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy, but I'm going to be honest. It does look like it's going to be worth it. Okay. Um, some of you guys, this could definitely be a soul connection here. You got the 11, you got the 11 numbers, 11 here on this strength card. Uh, it does kind of feel like a portal. So it almost feels like with that portal energy that like I said, it's not going to be easy, but it is going to be worth it. If you can get through this with this person, if you can almost like go through it, it's almost like entering a new a new chapter, a new portal, okay? Or this experience is the portal. <laughs> you get the four of swords here in the reverse for their feelings. Yeah, it just it's kind of an unsettled feeling. Okay, they kind of feel unsettled. I feel like they're kind of trust. I don't think that's necessarily a lack of trust between the two of you, although for some of you guys it could be that way. It also kind of feels to me that they're just trying to have trust in the situation. They're trusting that things are going to improve. They're trusting that things will change, that things will get better. That you guys have been a little bit at odds. And there's insecure energy here as well. Some of you guys, this person could have some trust issues because of in insecurities that they have because of past experiences. But I just feel like they're trying to trust and have faith in the situation. They could be feeling a little bit, like I said, not at peace with the situation. They could be feeling like a little overwhelmed as well. You know, the four swords in the reverse can talk about feeling like overworked and needing a break. Um, and it kind of feels like that here. They could just be having a lot going on. They could be overworking themselves and putting themselves in a situation where, you know, they're more prone to be aggravated. And, and that could be causing some of the fights as well. But the two of wands here for their intention. It's like I do feel like they want to be able to leave this behind, this chapter, this period that you guys are in, and go in a new direction. Um, it does talk about planning. It talks about progress. Okay, so I do feel like they still want this too. I feel like this person is very dedicated to this connection, to making this work. Sag, it just feels like you guys are at odds. And some of that could be because this person does need to rest. You know, they, they could be feeling very overworked. Maybe you both are. Maybe that's why it's showing up as well. Um, their actions here, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Sometimes that feels like an energy of release, but I don't feel like they're releasing the connection. I kind of feel like they're trying to release their self-doubt. They're trying to release some of the little things that they've been holding on to, trying to focus on, you know, the things that are worth it. Like, what is that? It, expression you got to choose your battles right there could be some of these little things that they're letting go of um, because they don't want to fight your challenge is the eight of pentacles one i feel like this could go back to some of that overworked energy both of you could have a lot going on a lot on your plates um, and that can be definitely trying and making things more difficult in the connection but i also feel like it's just you guys the challenge is just putting in the work focusing on making this connection work and doing what you you know, both need to do, doing your parts, okay? 
But the potential outcome of this is the Empress. Some of you guys, if you're not wanting to conceive, I would be cautious. Some of you guys could already be, um, you could already be pregnant. Maybe you guys are going to be giving birth. But others of you guys can definitely be getting pregnant. If that's not something you want, then be cautious. Um, it can also just talk about, you know, creation, growth, abundance. Okay, so I feel like you guys are moving to a better space. Like I said, I definitely feel like it's going to be worth it. Um, it's not going to be easy, though. Strength card, Eight of Pentacles, it's going to be work. But I feel like if you are both willing to put that work in, if you are both willing to kind of take care of yourselves as well um, and be willing to kind of release the things that just aren't that big of a deal or, you know, picking your battles, so to speak, I feel like you guys are going to make it through just fine. Like I said, this what you're going through right now it definitely feels like that portal. It's like if you guys can get through this, it's going to be amazing, okay? But that is what I have for you here. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that stuff is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.